aren't there? There's I, I could we'd be here all day yeah. if I think everything is wrong. But we've we've sort of pitched it at pay. And some have questioned that that really is a bit of a gift to the opposition to this, that they will pay, they'll, they'll make us out to be the greedy teachers. And we have a cushy number 13 weeks a year. You, you get the, the you get the teacher bingo out, the teacher bashing bingo out. Um, but she, she suggests and says, you know, teachers are more worried about the workload, they're more worried about uh, school safety, school behaviour and, and overwhelmed by bureaucracy. So what's, what's your take on that, whether the pitch that we have about the pay is the correct mm-hmm. angle to take? Well, um, the nature of trade union legislation um, means that we can only take uh, national industrial action on pay and terms and conditions. So uh, that 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 really is why there is that that sort of claim going into the government. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to take uh, strike action against child poverty, for example. But unfortunately, you know, <laughs> legislation does not allow that. You know, we have very restrictive trade union legislation. But the primary demand of the union is is fair funding for, for schools. You know, we've all seen, and my head teacher is no different, uh, our head struggle this year because there's been a 5% pay award, which is below inflation and a real terms pay cut. But that also has to come out of existing school budgets, which are yeah. already funded below 2010 levels. I think what we really do have to fight on uh, and make sure is the, the, the thing that we are talking about uh, um, significantly is, is, is the, the issue around funding. But of course, we know that this is a deeper expression of anger. So there is some, that, you know, I do, I, I hate to say it, dare to agree with Catherine, Catherine Burble Singh, not so much on the behaviour, but, you know, around the bureaucracy and around the, the workloads and the fulfil, the fulfilment of pointless tasks that we all have to do to, to satisfy uh, Ofsted, um, it can be highly demoralising. So people would have put a tick in the yes to action box for a number of reasons, pay and funding, of course, uh, but, you know, there will be a myriad of uh, concerns that our members face, and we certainly know that as a union.